Welcome to another production with the Technology Training Team. In this video, you will learn how to schedule a meeting in Zoom. To schedule your meetings within Zoom, first, sign in to our PDCPS Zoom website. Select the blue button, sign in. Type in your credentials. Then once you are signed in, go to settings on the left side. Check your main settings here. And for example, waiting room is turned on. If it is grayed out, it is turned off. When you click it again, it will turn blue to turn on. But for this um, video, our purpose is to look at authentication. Scroll down until you see only authenticated users can join meetings. Make sure that this is turned on, blue here, and also that the only authenticated users can join meetings for a website is turned on. Once you have checked your authentication settings, it is time to schedule a meeting. Scroll back up. On the left side, select Meetings. Then on the right side, select Schedule a Meeting. Complete your Zoom meeting details. So I can name it Flash Check-in. in a date for my meetings at a time put in a duration for my meetings for example this class is only one hour and 30 minutes if you do choose um, for this meeting to repeat over and over again on the, at 10 o'clock um, for an hour and a half or whatever time you choose, you may select recur meeting and you can choose um, how often you want this to reoccur. Make sure for security, your passcode is checked off and you may change your passcode to whatever you want it to be. Make sure waiting room is selected. You can select how your camera will start as soon as you come in, if you want it to be on for yourself or off for your students, however you see fit. For audio, make sure to choose telephone and computer audio, both is selected. Then within meeting options, we have already enabled join before host is already set and mute participants upon entry is already set for you. Below that, you'll see only authenticated users can join. Make sure to check that off. When meeting with students, make sure you select the drop down and select PTCPS SSO. This is the one you're going to choose when meeting with students. If meeting with parents, select the drop down and choose sign in to Zoom. Because this is a meeting for students, I'm going to choose PTCPS SSO. I can include any alternative host that I want for my meeting. You can only add alternative hosts if the user and yourself are both licensed users. When you are done, select Save. And here now you have scheduled your meeting. And to share the link with your, stu your, parent, your students, make sure you select um, this link. You can also choose copy invitation and make sure to share with your students the join Zoom meeting link, the meeting ID, and the passcode. Do not post this link and information on social media. It should only be shared with your students via Google Classroom.